Hey guys, what's up? So in this video, we will have a look at instance variables in Ruby. So what are instance variables? So um, in Ruby, we always deal with objects. So and we also know that every object belong to belongs to some class, and classes are things which define the behavior for that object and they also provide a way to store the data for that object okay so every object has either some behavior or it contains some data so instance variables are the, the data part of the thing okay so uh, there is an object and it might uh, contain some information inside it and also there will be a behavior so behavior po part will be manipulated by methods but the data part will come from the instance variables so like suppose there is an object person okay so there is a class person and we create objects of that class so it will be like people david john doe these can i mean these are the people so they are the instances of that class person and the person can have informations like name age gender address credit card number so many other things so whenever you create an instance of that person then that instance will also have the information like if I create a person of name David then they will ha David have information like name is gender so where would we put all that information for that instance okay so we put all those informations inside the instance variables okay so we will see that through an example and then we will be able to understand instance variables uh, in a better way okay so first what we will do is like we will create a class person vim person dot rb you can create your ruby file with any other name so it's not necessary that you create the name of the file and the name of the class should uh, be the same okay so this is my class and now I mean this is the file where I will create the class and class name of the class name of the class should uh, it should always begin with capital letter and now I'm going to create a class instances of that class will have information and to have that information I'm going to define some instance variables okay and you have some instance variables where you will put all that information for this example I'm going to initialize that in for inst those instance variables the moment you are going to initialize your object okay so the moment you are going to create instance as a person you will actually populate your instance variables so for that I will define a method initialize this is a method that will be called whenever you are creating any instance of Ruby class so ideally this may you if you do not write this method then Ruby will assume that there is a uh, nobody method initialize so it will be called but nothing will happen but once you override this then this overwritten method will be called whenever you create the instance so here I am overwriting it overwriting means I am going to define this method right here okay so right now my person class will have three information name is and gender and I'm going to store the information in three instance variables at the rate name at the rate is at the rate gender so in Ruby instance variables are um, noted as at the rate and then name of your instance variable this is the way uh, this is the Ruby convention of uh, putting instance variables okay so at the rate at the rate name is one instance variable it will have the information that you will pass in name at the rate is is the second inf instance variables and at the rate sender is the third instance variable end okay and now so this is your class person okay and you over uh, I mean you over uh, wrote here the method initialize and it now takes three arguments 
name, age and gender and those three arguments respectively they set the instance variables at the rate name, at the rate age, at the rate gender. Okay. Now I am going to create any instance of person. Suppose that instance is P. P is equal to person dot new. This is the Ruby way of creating instances of any class. Name of the class dot new. Now, since we have overwritten the initialize method, we are we are going to pass three arguments to that because now initialize method will take three arguments. So name David is 23 and gender male. Okay, so now one thing to notice here we have overwritten the method initialize but here we are passing the arguments to the method new how does that happen so what happens in ruby is that whenever you call new method behind the scene it will call initialize method okay and the structure of the new method will be the same as initialize method so here in the initialize method i am passing three arguments that is why i am passing three arguments in the new method okay so initialize method is a private method what are private methods we will look at them in next video uh, but here you have to understand you are creating an instance of this person class and to create an instance you are calling new method and then you are passing three arguments why is that because we have overwritten the initialize method and that initialize method takes three arguments so we pass here three arguments so new method will call initialize method behind the scene and it will pass three arguments to that initialize method and then initialize method will take off from there okay now what happens after this initialize method will be called and a new object of person class will be created and that object will have three instance variables at the rate name, at the rate age, at the rate gender and those three instance variables will be populated with these arguments name, age and gender. So this will happen. Okay. So what we are going to see is we are going to inspect We will use puts p dot inspect. So inspect method will uh, it actually shows the um, instance variables uh, on your console. Okay, so I'm going to run this file. Yeah, so you can see here it prints the person. I mean it prints the p object. This is the ID, object ID or whatever. And here is the part that we look at, we are interested into. So it says that the object that I am printing has three instance variables at the rate name, at the rate age and at the rate gender. And it also gives us the values of those instance variables. So at the rate name has the value David, at the rate age has the value 23, at the rate gender has the value male. So here now you can see that in Ruby the instance variables are that part which saves the data for your object okay so you create an object from any class then the methods defined in that class will provide the behavior part of that object and the instance variables populated in that class will define the data part of that object. So in this class person we created three instance variables, we populated them and hence we have this behavior of the object P which was created from person class. It was created from person class that is why it has these three instance variables where it will keep its data. So this might seem quite confusing but in next two three videos since we are going to discuss instance variables it will become clear. Okay, so that was all for this video and in the next video we will see how do you access your instance variables. Okay, thank you very much for buying this video. Please subscribe if you like it. Thanks.